Hey guys, Crazy Penguin here, and I'm going to bring you another quick tutorial for the PC version of Modern Warfare 3. And this one's how to change your field of view. And it's really quite simple. But first, let's get a few things out of the way. My whole computer's bare bones right now, so bear with me. I uh, just reinstalled Windows on this hard drive, but I wanted to get this out to you. I want to show you how to get this program. Alright, so it's really simple. When I said Google's your friend, I meant it. You just type in Modern Warfare 3 Field of View Changer, and it's the first link. You want to look for Map Mod News. Click on that link, and it's going to give you some information about what it uh, what helps. You know, eye strain, headaches, motion sickness. I personally just enjoy the experience better. I just like the change, and uh, this is what it's going to look like once you once you download it. Go down to the bottom of the page, click the link to download the latest version, and uh, you click here to save it. And once that's done, you just uh, extract it and set it to a location that you find easy to browse. Um, it's really that simple. You open it up and it's really, really self-explanatory. I chose 85 instead of 90. A lot of people go to 90 field of view. It's just personal preference. Toy around with what you like. A um, few options here. The most important one here is beep when game is found. And I'll explain that a little bit better when we get into game. But basically, it allows you to know when you launch your game whether or not it's working. And the other one is a, an alert pop-up if there's an update available, which you, you should enable because you're always going to want the updated version of this uh, simply because there, there are bugs. You know, it's, a, it's basically a beta program. It's, it's so simple, though. Once you're in game, there's a few keys that you can hit to, to change your field of view on the fly so you can toy around and see what you like and what you don't like. And if for whatever reason you have those bound to something or you want to use them for something else, you can disable the hotkeys by pressing this check mark up here. And then uh, you got a, a quick link to their site right here. And it's as simple as that. You need to launch your game through this program and it'll bring it up. Okay, now that we're in game, it takes a second for it to inject and in a second you hear a little tone. There it is. And that's the the beep that I told you to keep enabled and checked on the program. And uh, I'm going to go into my vault here for a second, as soon as it lets me, and I'm going to show you the differences between the different field of views. And so we'll fast forward here a bit, we'll come back when the theater starts. Okay, now we're back in game, and uh, give you a little preview of of the differences. Right now I'm sitting at 85 field of view and you can see this, uh, the stock of the gun and just everything's kinda more... I, I don't know how to explain it. I, like, I just like it better. And this is standard. So this is, this is before anything's changed and slowly zooming out one at a time and going back in. Normally you're kinda up in their face, can't see much, and then you pull back, and you can you just have a wider field of view. You can, you can just see a lot more. As a result, things in the distance seem a bit smaller, and uh, it feels like you're running even faster. And I just got grizzed. <laughs> but that's it for the video, guys. Uh, a little long-winded, I'm sorry. And uh, if you find this helpful, I'd appreciate a like. And I'll see you in the next video, guys.